welcome to another video my name is Sanjay Prakash and today we will discuss how we can use power automate and canvas apps to use camera control and using camera control we will upload or we will take snaps then I just want to take that snap or photo to send email to my outlook and also I want to store in this uh, SharePoint drive so I will use two functions one is sending email to my email uh, gmail or to my outlook and I will upload that image that is captured in the uh, camera control in this SharePoint server. So let us start the flow first. We will have to create two apps. One is Canvas app and another is Power Automate. Let us first design the uh, flow first. Go to Power Apps, click on Flow and create a new flow here. You can see here there is an option called as New. Click on New Instant Flow and select Power Apps because I want to call that flow from power apps that's why the trigger is power apps give a name here save and send email for example click on create as soon as you click create the trigger is identified as power apps now i want to create a variable i want to create a variable to store the file name okay the file that is going to be uploaded or send email so click on the initialize variable and give a rename the step as file name step then give a variable name as file name and take the type as string and click on this value and go to the uh, dynamic contents panel and click on ask in power apps when you click this ask in power apps it will create a parameter that will be passed from from power apps now next add another step called as compose and data operation connector compose and in the compose just click this option called as ask in power apps okay now when you click ask in power apps it will create another input called as compose input now delete this now click on this expression and just type down data uri to binary start bracket and go to dynamic content and select this compose input right and click ok now the expression is created and assigned to this input now this is the uh, object this is the step which stores the file file content and this is the variable which stores the file name that is passed from canvas apps now click on sharepoint connector add another point another connector sharepoint because i want to create an item so click on create a file and when you create, click on create a file you have to provide the site address i have already created a site address called as uh, uploaded images click on this and here you want to click on this folder the folder you want to use okay so you have to choose which folder you want to use click on list for example and next you have to give the file name here right now what is the file name file name is passed as a variable and file content is the output of this compose step now my uh, sharepoint file is saved next i want to send an email using outlook so i'll use office 365 outlook click on send email and i will specify my email id here so this is my email id and subject a new file uploaded to SharePoint and in the body I want to specify the file is attached and I want to mention the file name right or the file path I can specify the path here and here I want to attach that file so click on the attachment name click on the file name and in the attachment content use the compose output now i have sent this email saved this file now save this power automate so my power automate work is done now i want to call this from a canvas app so i will go here and click new canvas apps from blank give a name save and send file using camera right use phone as a uh, format you can use tablet also I, I want to use phone format 
so it will give me the canvas to design okay now this is the canvas i want to drag some uh, rectangle to design my page so i want to drag uh, let's say rectangle first to give a border of this app and i want to drag a text level here and i want to give the title of this application let's say uh, upload file right and i can change the color and make it bold right now i want to uh, drag a camera control right so this is my camera so when you use camera control the camera uh, control will see uh, will render for you right this is camera my camera is on here now next i want to add a image because whenever you use uh, camera control uh, you can take a snapshot and the preview will display in the image right and once the image is displayed here from the camera i want to save this and send email so i will take a button to save or call power automate so this is my button and i will give, i will just give a name let's say upload right now click on this and i want to assign the camera's photo property to this image so click on this image and in the image property change this to camera one this is the name of the camera dot photo so that means whatever photo that is captured in using this camera will be assigned to this image and in the button i want to call power automate so i will go to actions click on power automate is because i want to call the power automate so i can click on choose the power automate i have just created this one i have created this one the name is save and send email now once you click this it is adding to the button click event now can you see that say in the formula bar it is displaying the power automate name and dot run first i have to pass the file name to pass the file name i have to take a uh, text box control to store the file name let's say I want to add text input here and in the text input let me change the default text blank and hint text as file name and now I will change the ID of this text input let's say txt file name now I'll go to formula bar again I will pass the file name here the file name is stored in the text box so txt file name dot text comma the second is uh, second is the image that is uploaded or captured in the ca camera control and which is assigned to the image here right so I have to use that so I'll use image one dot image so this image property will store the image that is captured by the camera right now i want to notify something notify the image uploaded and sent to email right now it is done now i can test it now i have done everything now the power automate is done the canvas app is done now i want to run it so this is the camera you can see my camera is displaying here now i want to take a snapshot so click on this now this image this camera image is previewed here is, uh, is as an image now i can give a name here my window dot jpg then i can click on upload as soon as i will click upload the power automate will call and it will try to save this image in SharePoint as I have already created and it will send an email and also it will notify me the image uploaded and sent to email right now let us go and test it if you refresh this now let us first check the email let me refresh this also check the uh, pro if it is run successfully or not go to back and uh, click on the run history So 
so every pro has a run history and it will give you how many times it ran it run and uh, if, if there, there was an error or not so let me go to upload image go to documents it you can see if there is any site content available you can check right so i have stored somewhere in the side pages right and let me check where i have stored in the um, power automate let me go to home and click on flows so this is my power automate I will just check which folder I have used to store the folder I have used lists right so I can go here and choose list uh, what is that let me go to style library or you can click on my files no not this one this is uploaded images site content you can also check here in the run status let me uh, first check me the uh, check the email if I have received or not before that let me check the run status if there is any error or not uh, click on this click on run history yeah there was an error so let's open this and check out the error access denied right it's saying that there is no access right so in the sharepoint there is some issue so what i will do i will go to sharepoint and create a folder here new folder and give a name my files so in this my files folder i want to store the image so i will just edit this and in the create file i will choose my files right so just go up or you can manually just remove this the side will be same you just change the uh, folder you can re choose reselect this and it will try to upload uh, what is that site style library no not this one it will be what is the name it is my files right so i can type down here my files sometimes it will not uh, properly uh, display so let us just check sharepoint uh, list okay no not this one let me go here and try to s refresh this okay because the uh, file the folder I have just created should display it is in documents right so you just understand this documents I'll go here and try to use that so click on edit it's because that step is failed so i didn't receive anything so click on this folder and choose documents right uh, what is that catalog cts images list share documents now here it is my file right so this is the folder that i have just created now click on save okay now go to here and click another another image now click on give a name my window one let's say click on upload now again the power automate will call right and it will try to save the image here now this is my file and let me go and check if it is successfully run or not uh, this is run history now it is success now i will get an email see this email i have received with the attachment and if i'll go to uh, my con uh, my sharepoint also you can see here now if you click this the image will preview 
now you can see how i have created a power automate and a camera control uh, canvas app to save the file in sharepoint and also send an email with attachment thank you guys and if you have not subscribed subscribe this channel and i will come with more uh, technical videos thank you cheers